I, I, you know, that's really true, too, because if you got good buddies, a good tight... I tried to encourage people to not quit. Yeah. And it doesn't always work. I, I well, saw some guys people... just go ring the bell. I said, come on, don't do it, man. This will be over in a few minutes. Yeah. And you can't convince them when they're fucking freezing to death. Yeah, I know. I was pretty tough-minded, I but... Well, you, you just have to build in your mind that you're, it's going to be over at some point. It's not going to last forever. And if you can just work through it, you'll be okay. Well, we saw some guys get pulled out of the water and one guy died and then came back. Yeah. It's, you, can, you can die of hypothermia in there. Well. But it's not like combat. I mean, it's, the Lexington you can't was, simulate combat. Like the Lexington was a training ship for pilots. <laughs> They'd land and take off on the carrier to get there, you know, so they could go out in the ocean and do it. And, man, it was surprising how many people we saw crash on the flight deck. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, they missed the, the cables, or the yeah. cable would break. What do they do? They keep going? Well, I saw a couple of guys, they went into the drink, and once you're in the drink and you're, you haven't popped your canopy... It's done. You're done. You're going down with the uh, craft because it jams. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I sat, stood in, in a, uh, in the, uh, on the flight deck, and uh, it's, I can still see it in my head. No, I didn't need a camera. The pilot died there. I, I was watching a pilot. And he was bang, banging on his uh, canopy trying to get out, and he couldn't get the damn canopy to blow, and he went right down with the plane. Nothing you can do. You can't get dive in and try to save them because the, the suction created by the, the uh, jet will just pull you under. And you'll go down with the jet, too. Why can't they latch a, a cable onto the tail or something to keep it from going all the way down? There's just Well, it happens so fast they don't have time to, to do that. I mean, you just stand there watching them die, basically. I'm sure they probably fixed a lot of those kinks. I don't think so. <laughs> or they have uh, measures to keep them from sinking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I think people still die training. I, well, hell see, yeah, that's, they a, do. that's the untold story that uh, you never hear is all the people who, young men who die just learning how to fly. Our whole platoon almost got completely wiped out. Really? Yeah. And it was not combat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we were down downrange in the Philippines of a Marine battalion that was target practicing. Yeah. And they didn't know that our guys were down there. Well, that's Matt, God, Till Matt, Matt Tillman, the uh, football like player. Fucking Norman. Uh, you know, Matt Tillman, the, the football yeah. player. He died. That was friendly, friendly fire. fire. Right? Yeah. yeah. I was watching something on YouTube it's about just that. It's dangerous if, if <clears throat> ammunition's flying or if conditions are such. Anything can happen there. Well, he was in an unplanned area. <laughs> and he looked from a distance like the enemy. Although he was pretty big and should have known that. I just know that war is hell and you make mistakes and it, it only takes one mistake and you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> we had a guy almost get his... One of our guys almost shot another one of our guys right in the fucking head in the, in the swimming pool. Really? Yeah, we were practicing uh, amphibious ops from the, in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> he had the fucking safety off. The goddamn officer, man. Well, we... Uh, Fuck, almost blew the guy's head right off. I mean, jumbled. It came an inch from his fucking head. Just pow, right into the pool. A bunch of, a bunch of us sailors went down to see uh, the Daytona 500. And uh, when, you know, when our ship was in uh, Pensacola... Jacksonville. It was in Jacksonville to get a something repaired on the the uh, carrier, and uh, <coughs> uh, Daytona was just a few miles down the road, and we just uh, went down there, got a motel room, and we were all jumping off the roof of the motel into the pool. It's a miracle nobody got Stupid. killed. Mm, it's really kind of dumb. But uh, but that's what we do when we're young. Oh yeah. <coughs> Crazy. God, if I did that now, I'd break. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, sure. There's a lot of things that we did now, <laughs> we'd break. 
You're still pretty tough, though. Not as tough as you think. Emotionally, you have your days. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chris, we all have that. It gets worse. You get older, you get it, man. Well, my attitude about emotions is screw them. I'm going to live today for today, and I'm not going to worry about tomorrow no, or let you. It affects you. your health. No, yes, sir. No, it affects my stomach. I get ulcers and shit. Do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I live on all that stomach meds. Well, you know, for 70 years old, I'm pretty surprised that I haven't had more trouble. It's not saying that it won't. Well, build. you do have diabetes. Huh? <coughs> you have diabetes, but I guess you can have that when you're 15, too. No, I didn't. I didn't <coughs> get it until I was in my, my 40s. I knew a guy who was, had it when he was 10 years old. There, <laughs> there was a couple that was uh, rented a house right behind me that's owned by the same lady that owns this house. And uh, they... Uh, were uh, growing uh, marijuana <laughs> in the basement. And well, that's then, not very unusual. Yeah. And uh, one morning I got up and there was all these DEA agents back there <laughs> cleaning out the house. What the hell they wasting their time with that shit for? I don't know. And, and, and see, one of their friends was a local judge. So You know, uh, have you ever seen the show Breaking Bad? Yeah, I loved that show. Isn't it good? Yeah. <laughs> I love the characters in that. <laughs> How's that curve look now on that back? Yeah, I think I, I think it's a little right up on his withers. It seemed a little bit uh, too much. But the the back torso was good. Turn to the side. I can't see him. Uh, well. Um, Remember, he's got hips up here. Let me, let me see. Do we have a complete side picture of him stretching? Oh, here we go. Here we go. You got it? <coughs> <laughs> you know, you got to learn to negotiate a chair. <laughs> well, you know, turn it to the side. Come on, I'm trying to look. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Um, I do see. What what's there's just one little angle change that needs to happen right at the withers. Okay, look. I want you to look at this picture. I'm looking at his leg. What? Okay, this. If you draw a line straight up. Oh, I I know. He's too far. His butt's too far back. Well, if I push him forward, the feet paws will be off. Well, then push the back paws out, or you can't, can you? <clears throat> So I just push it up a little bit. Like that. And then with the clay, I'll get a little straighter. In, in other words, it looks like he may fall backwards. See what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's uh, a line that we have to pay attention to, and I didn't pay attention to it. Okay. Well, I haven't put his butt out as far as No, the butt going. shouldn't be out that far. The butt should be well, inside. Well, because of the, of the fur. But, uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be hard on you here. It's okay. You're the guy goddamn client. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that I don't know what you call that fucking joint. I need to know the terminology. Oh, you it? mean the uh, elbow? Yeah, here? that. Yeah. <clears throat> that is is outside of the butt. The butt is on the inside. No, actually, that should line up perfectly. But you're not on a straight line. Yes, I am. That plumb line should be straight vertical. Why would it be straight and that's, vertical? And if it's straight, I, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a, a vertical line. Oh, I see what you're talking up, about, and yeah. And if you draw a vertical line, the butt is outside of it, making him feel like All he's right, going to fall backwards. All right, then I have to cut his body and pull it forward a little bit. Oh, shit. Are you I have, sure? I, yeah, I can't go any further. Close. Why can't you bring the back paws back a little? How come the back paws can't come back just a little bit? They're right on the edge now. Well, make the base bigger. I can't because then we're going to be off. 
I don't think I don't think length is a problem. Yeah, on that. I'm just fighting you. That's all. Don't worry about it. Let but me, you see what I okay, mean? Yeah, but let me like, do something here. Can't you just? Why don't you just relax for a second? Let me do something here, and then we'll just go forward a little bit. <coughs> now see, see that? <coughs> Damn fucking Now it's a little straighter. Yeah, now you got to pull the chest forward a little, don't you? I just did. What'd you do? Pull his paw forward? I pulled the whole damn thing Oh, out. okay. Well, that'd be good. Yeah. There you go. I just don't want him to feel like he's going to fall back, which he's actually done before. Yeah, <laughs> he I didn't did really. <laughs> he had it wrong, too, you know. <laughs> Pull it forward. The reason I get combative with Todd is because I'm... I know I gotta do it, but I don't want to do it. Now, now you know how I feel when you come over to my place and say, "Hey, you gotta change this and change that." Yeah, you gotta put a red blanket there. <coughs> I'm just paying you back for 15 years. Why are you coughing more than me? Because this happens to me about every day at noon. Oh, does it really? I get congested. Is it something from the war? The war. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's all that lead I'm coughing out still. I got shot so many times in the chest that all that lead settled in my lungs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Believe me, guys. He's lying. No, we're Navy SEALs. They can't kill us. All they can do is fill us full of lead and we collect it and spit it out later. <laughs> and spit it out later. <laughs> oh, God. Now I've broken the damn thing. Oh, jeez. Well, that's what happens when you have to change things. I don't know how you feel, man. I get all, you know me. I have to change shit. Okay, let's get that down the hole. <coughs> Damn it. Then again, it's nothing for you, right? Yeah. Damn it. <clears throat> I don't want to go down. All right, I have to redo that leg. Why? Because it won't go down. <clears throat> and I've broken out of the hole here, so now i got to cut that all away and find a hole again. I'm not complaining. I had to do it. Yeah, you probably... You know, the thing is, I should have made those wires longer. There we go. I got that one. Now i got to find the other one. I think what I'll do is just push it down. Like that. But he's absolutely right. Uh, that should line up perfectly with the back of the bottom. Yeah. And, I, and I'm going to add a little bit more, so it's, it's just about right. I mean, well, I'm painting. I, gotta, I change all that crap as I go along, too. That's why I don't paint. I never do anything very fast. Well, it takes neither, me dinking around. Duh, right. neither do I. Some people are just fast, though. They nail it the first time. Yeah. All right, let's so go. I hate those people. Another tree, I know. <laughs> oh god. You see these guys that draw a cartoon? I know. And they don't and, have, and they, they have to it, change anything. They Every... just draw the whole damn thing and it's complicated. I know. And you're sitting there thinking, how the hell did he do that? I had a guy in Mexico did do a caricature of me and my dad. It was perfection, man. I still have it. <laughs> that's why he, he never that's drew why over I, the same line. But that's why I keep saying that's we we keep trying to be artists. That's a guy in Mexico and, sitting on the street yeah, trying to make, feed his family. And, and, and hand him out. Yeah. And he's better than I ever think of being. And, and this is what's wrong with that picture. That guy should be working at Disney, man. Yeah. I was offered a job at Disney. <laughs> well, I notice you're not there now. <laughs> well, it's because I didn't want to live in L.A. What did you do for model building or what? Well, I was making a sculpture of Sacagawea at... Uh, some big convention center in, in uh, Cleveland. Yeah. And uh, I had a bunch of uh, artists. They were just getting ready to do uh, the movie about uh, Pocahontas. Uh -huh. And uh, a friend of mine did the opening scene for that. Uh, Guy Deal, I think his name was. And uh, <coughs> he was a member of the artist group I was a member of. <coughs> anyway... They liked what I was doing with uh, Sacagawea, 
Yeah, I would call it uh, Winds of Memory. And it was a sculpture of her putting a, a, an old blanket on over her head to keep herself warm. And the smell on the blanket reminded her of a moment when she had uh, Pomp in her arms on the uh, shores of the Missouri River. And uh, they loved it and they wanted me to come work for them. I said, nope, not, not L.A. I'll do it from my home, but I won't do it down there. Could have made a boatload of money. I'd be a lot richer now, I'll tell you. I'd probably have a home, a family, and kids. And, well, I got kids, but more kids. I'd probably have a life. Damn. Well, anyway, that's the way life is. Yeah. Look, I'll keep working on this if you want to stop by tomorrow. Okay. And, uh, but I'm going to work on it later. I'm going to take a break right now. I've got to get, uh, i got to get a video out to it. Let me see that real quick. Let me see that whole hind end thing. Yeah, see how it feels? The yeah, weight's shifted yeah, forward yeah. a little. Yes, Todd, you were right. Yeah. Thank you, Todd. Go away. I sold a DVD and I need to get it to the post office. But I have seen him uh, stretch like that and fall back on his back. <laughs> yeah. I literally have seen that. <coughs> That's funny, isn't it? When it I'd just rather represent him when he's just a little younger. Yeah. See, this time instead of pushing the, the rod back in, I just melted it into the side. Yeah. Just saved me. And then I had well, it in so the hole. So you can adjust it, you mean? Well, no, I had it in the hole, so uh -oh. it helps me uh, get it uh, right the first time. But anyway, I'll Well, do. I guess we'll just keep. I'll Make work on this here. later on this afternoon. Right now, I just. Okay, I'll come by tomorrow. Yeah. That looks pretty good right now. You were right, though. I hate to admit that. Yeah, I should be a supervisor. I can't do it, I just can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Get your butt out of here. Let me get to work. I like that back in though. Yeah. We'll, we'll get that all worked out eventually. I don't think you need to do much more of that back in. No. You got the gesture, you got everything almost. Yeah. And it goes from the very end to the very end. Uh huh. You have to have the weight balance in a pose like yeah. that. That's all we did was adjust yeah. the weight. And I like his back a lot better. <clears throat> But you, did you see what I mean about that, that that withers area? That little cut in there, that little break? The we'll work change? on that. We'll work yeah. on that. <clears throat> That's a very small little change. All right. Hey, listen. Ha good to have you around. Good to have you go home. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. Talk to you later, Talk you later Todd. All right, everybody. That's going to do it. I know Todd and I banter with each other but uh, it's because we respect each other we respect we respect each other's uh, art a great uh, painter i'm a mediocre artist and he puts up with me all right i'll uh do more tomorrow looks good what i like is i know you can't see it but it's, it's his whole chest is off the ground his legs are off the ground, and that's what's happening in the, in the photograph. His chest is on the, off the ground, and his legs are off the ground. And without having an armature in the front, um, it made it difficult to do that. And by adding, redoing that armature area uh, has helped a lot. So sometimes uh, it's good to get away from something for a while and then come back to it. All right, good night, everybody.